No match for me.
song. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. So that's how it works. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Pretty good. Let's try. Let's go. Yeah. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
Looks good. I think you're laying it on a little thick. Getting late. Where to now? Clocking off. Finally. We got trouble and she refused. Fursman is in the oh, she oh, there's he hooks daddy. Thank you.
<laughs> Let's make it quick. Tough luck running into me. Turn it up. Just a scratch. Welcome, customers. Friends. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. for a living? Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <sighs> well... Nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brute! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia. <laughs> Back up! Well, I think someone needs to te- You'll never fight! <laughs> 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 Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's go. Try that again. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it quick. It's just a tool. Looks good. Getting late. Where to now? <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending us. See? <coughs> you are gonna spoil that kid. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. <sighs> hmm. 
Well, a few days ago, I found a geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side? I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's... just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look that says, Hook wants to talk to you outside the clinic, now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well... I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yes. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? 
Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. But they all claim to not have stolen... ...stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. I agree. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Ugh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no... Th really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. I know! Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat! How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there? I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though... Oh, it... Uh, never mind. No, oh, no, oh no. I must sound very suspicious, but I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence?
Hmm. Oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Uh... Well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. No comment. Oh, you would... oh, I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Well, yeah, looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. It's up to you. Smart decision. I love doing business with smart people. Look, the cook is definitely the thief. I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. What do I have to gain from lying to you? Wildfire coming for me in the night? Trust me, something's definitely fishy with that cook. I could tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Oh, look, the head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. The cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find... <sighs> the cook... 
think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. Don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Hitchstar Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Hitchstar Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So? Do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Hitchstar Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Hitchstar Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So? Do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. Huh? Where's the cook? Where did he go? Uh, Pete's me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Ah, uh, that guy has to be guilty! Where is he running off to? Oh, yeah! I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Natasha. Look that he was really sick or something. If he's working with the thief, then he's also a bad guy. My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived!
Wait a second. Let's all just calm down. Is there something wrong with the source of this stuff? I mean, I got nothing to do with it. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Fersman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. What kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld and such a... Anyway, I got the device now. Diggertron, get ready. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> you sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Oh, Daddy's treasure! It's... But... Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course. I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here. There's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, this business tactic is what I call... A bait and switch. Halloween the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. It's getting late. Where to now? If you're looking for ancient relic appraisal... I'm already retired. Oh, look at this! Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes! Look extra close. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair, but... The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? Hmm. All 
right then. Let's go find Daddy. If you're looking for ancient relic appraisal, find someone else. been hook i was just about to go looking for you come on let's go home i'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you <sighs> what's wrong with this kid why what happened big sister and hook helped daddy catch the thief that stole it but daddy's detector is broken it's all my fault only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. Uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But... Daddy's treasure... <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost... or broken. You can cry. The detector helped me find lots of Geomaro veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook uh, doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about... ...is still happily running and jumping around. <laughs> I haven't even mentioned what this is about, but that's the spirit. You truly are an honorary member of the moles. Hook and Daddy's birthday is approaching. Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together. Yeah? What's the problem? Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. 
<laughs> hey, are you patronizing me? Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. I know that Rivet Town is super dangerous right now. That's why I'd like to enlist you as my bodyguard. That way, even if the old witch finds out later, I won't be the only one getting a scolding. <laughs> then it's settled! Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. So long. Hook's been waiting here for ages. Well, it wasn't actually that long. As long as you're here now, it's fine. I got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want? Which do you want to hear first? Julian is willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. <laughs> the bad news is that he asked us to help him get some treasure. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll tell the old witch about our plan. <laughs> no, what nonsense! No, nobody scares Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Well, the treasure won't grow legs and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. When we were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with them, so... Shouldn't be too hard to locate his treasure. Let's start by looking over there! collecting all these. What? <laughs> you don't know? Have you never played marbles before? Oh, by the way, what is this key open? Oh, maybe Julian knows. What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. Of course it wasn't that, but his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. In the past, the kids in town were arch rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road, which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge, and triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. <laughs> it was incredible. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. 
All right, enough chit chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? it was before I left. I used to keep it in the mining team. It in the mind. Well, that's all I can recall. Uh, look, it's in this box. This miniature drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. Whoosh! Uh, it. it oh, just. Said, don't talk to me right now. Honorary member. Um. That's it. Ugh. Guess I'll have to abandon my evil plan. That might work. Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Maybe he went someplace far away. I have no idea when he'll come back, so... Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage! I don't want to sell it, but... If I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please! Please help me look for it! Just... Ah, yay! Let's go! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Ugh, you can't run! Ugh, try that again! <laughs> you can't run! Welcome, customer. Take a look at my notes. I mark, I mark the location where I stashed the treasure. It's a reward from the old wit. Go down the stairs. Oh, what kind of lame treasure map would it be without the second half of my... Oh, really? Quick, let me see. Let's use the home use object phone. Beep, beep, beep. The home use object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's like still whatever. I guess. Oh, 
Here it is! My teddy bear! The old witch gave it to me. Yes! He's called Jun- Whoa, Jun Jun. <laughs> the old witch said- <sighs> She put so- We found the treasure! I'm warning you. Where to now? Hook? What are you... <clears throat> Natasha? Um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Junjun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. The... The wind. Be honest with... Um, big sister, help me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. You had her take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. Please help me fix Jun Jun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. <sighs> you say that every time, and then... Ah, great, see you soon! Uh, big sister, I'll leave Jun Jun with you. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh-uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. Hmm. <sighs> Jun Jun. So she gave her bear a name, huh? I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an hook pretended to be well behaved for a month in order to get Jun Jun? She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her old self. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right, and forcing her to be well-behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair Jun Jun, but I'll need to find some stuffing. Wait, look at the eyes. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quell. Our war-torn bear here just became a... yell at you? What? Why'd she only yell at Hawk? <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Great. You're loyal anyway. What? G gems? <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of... Well, of course I'll sell him. Anyhow, I'll need your help again.
<laughs> Let's go. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Let's go. Go. Take this. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Circle. Talk. Let's be friends, shall we? <laughs> Could fight. <laughs> this song's just for keep up. My tempo. <gasps> Customers are always welcome. All the best. Let's make it quick. 
take this! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Try that again! You can't run! Rules are made to be broken. to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Let's be friends, shall we? Chill out! We need a strategy. Try that again! Rules are made to be broken. Into me. This song's just for turn up the volume. You can't run. Try that again. Customers are always welcome. All the best. Let's go. Better up! My turn! Watch this! <laughs> Time to keep up! My tempo! <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise good omens! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Rules are made to be broken.
Let's make it quick. Take this! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! running into me. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. This song's just for you. Keep up. My tempo! Let's be friends, shall we? Reach the end of the story in your own way. These targets will make for good practice. We're in trouble now. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! A thousand wonders to raise your fight is gone! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it! Rules are made to be broken.
<laughs> Let's go. Ha! My turn. This song's for you. Keep up. Welcome, customers. Yeah! Yeah. Told you I could fight. Turn it up. You're annoying. Let's be friends. Yeah! Let's make it quick. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! You can't run! <laughs> you! This song Let's rock! Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> 